The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There was a very famous Rav of Nicholsburg, Rav Mordechai Banet, who was known as the Tzadik, Tamil Chacham, Muflag. Everyone from all over the world used to send him She'elot. And the story goes that he was one time visiting a certain city, and tragically, he passed away. No illness, nothing. Just, boom, drop dead. Malach No one knew what to do. The people of this town were not really so well learned. Didn't seem like they had the understanding that if he's the Rav of Nicholsburg, he should be buried in this city. Where he... So they figured, Kavod Amet, they're not going to ship the body over to where he's been the Rav of. They'll bury him in their small little town cemetery with like maybe a minyan of people <laughs> in attendance, right? So when the people of Nicholsburg heard that, first of all, they were so shocked and saddened that the Rav was taken away from them. And they were angry, seriously, in that place. So they brought their question to the Khatam Sofer. Could they exhume the body and bring it from that small town and give it a proper burial in the town that he was the Rav in? And people could pay their respects. No one's going to that small little place. It should be in the city where everyone knew him, knew him and recognized him and revered him. So the Khatam Sofer wrote an entire tshuva allowing the exhumation of this tzaddik from the small cemetery to the big one. The night before they are about to exhume the body, the Khatam Sofer gets a dream. In his dream, he sees Reb Mordechai Banet looking radiant, beautiful. He looks so alive. He says, Reb Mordechai, is everything is... Shh. I didn't come here to tell you about the next world. All I am telling you is the following. Don't touch my body. Don't touch your body. Why not? It's not a cover of you. I'll tell you why not. You think that it was Ben Mikre, it was a coincidence that I happened to meet in this small town it buried me so hastily, and I'm there in this small town. It's not a kavod. I'll tell you why I'm buried there. You know why? Because when I was a bachur, many years ago, I went out with a young woman, and I actually proposed to her, and we were slated to get married. A few weeks before the marriage, I told her, I can't go ahead with this. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to break my vows with you. And we broke the engagement. This woman, for the rest of her life, never got married. She was so traumatized by that incident. She couldn't feel she could trust another human being again. And she died as a woman who never got married. And guess where she was buried? In that town. And guess who got buried next to her? Me. Hashem was showing to me, that really should have been my burial place next to this woman. You treated a woman like that? You embarrassed her? You shamed her? You made her feel so bad about herself? You don't get the honor that's deserving of you. The culmination of you is you need to be buried there. That's where you need to atone, a kapara for what you did to that person. That shows us how sensitive we must be to others. That culmination like that, that he's not even buried in his beloved city, because of something like that, the answer is yeah. Because every day this woman lived with that shame. Every day she lives with that feeling of betrayal. Every day it was compounded until she was laid to rest and he was laid to rest as well, next to her. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.